Today, we're going to be making something using the crock pot. What could be simpler than that? In the cooking world, it doesn't get much easier than using a crock pot. Simply combine your ingredients, set it in there, and forget about it until it's dinner time. Today, we're going to be making chicken divan a la crock pot, which is from the rival crock pot cooking cookbook, which was published in 1975. And this looks like a very easy recipe. When it's all done, you're going to be putting it over noodles. Again, very basic, simple recipe. Gonna start with our chicken. And then we're going to put our broccoli in. Now, the recipe actually makes this even easier than I'm doing it today, because it calls for a bag of frozen broccoli, which I did not have, but I did have some fresh broccoli, so I'm just going for the fresh broccoli. And I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference with that, except that the frozen might end up being a little mushier or softer, so if anything, this elevates this dish a little bit. And then we've got half of a small onion that we're going to put in and sprinkle that around. I have two stalks of celery that are going in and they are thinly sliced. There's three tablespoons of flour that's going in. We're going to sprinkle that around the whole top before I put in my liquids. There's also half a teaspoon of curry powder, which is gonna add some nice flavor as well as some color. Got a tablespoon of lemon juice here. We've got some mayonnaise that we're gonna put in. And then everybody's favorite crock pot ingredient, soup. So we have some cream of chicken soup that we're going to add a can of here. And the directions after that just simply say to stir it around until everything is mixed together. Actually the dress recipe says to do this in a bowl and then transfer it into the crock pot, but I'm just being lazy and saving a step and doing it all at once. So. I see no problem with stirring this right in the crock pot itself. So we're gonna cover that up and let it cook for two to three hours on high, or the recipe says you could do seven hours on low, and that's all you gotta do. I told you this recipe was easy. When this is all said and done, the recipe says to serve this over some hot buttered noodles. So we're gonna do that. When everything in the crock pot is almost done, boil up some noodles, just according to the package directions. Gonna drain those and then put them back in the pot, add some butter to that and stir it around and that's really all there is to that. Let's serve it up. Overall, this was a decent recipe, not my favorite by any means, but it also wasn't my least favorite by any means. It had that definite 70s vibe with the tang of the mayonnaise in there. In fact, I would say the mayonnaise and the curry powder were the two main flavors that were kind of cutting through everything else. Obviously, there's the chicken and the broccoli, but they kind of fell into a less important role behind those other ingredients. I also don't think if I were to make this again, I would do it over the hot buttered noodles. I think I would use rice or perhaps maybe even like a baked potato to put that over. I think that would be good. This was actually very similar to a recipe my mom used to make. It's something that she called chicken curry. However, hers had cheese in it and it also had breadcrumbs on top and it was a little more refined than this one. I think I would prefer her recipe over this. By the points, this gets 36 points, which puts us in the middle of the pack, currently ranking at number eight. 
But next time, that score could move as we look at other old recipes that we were reviving here on Recipe Reviver. And make sure that you're following us on social media and subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. We'll see you next time.